to my workshop. Okay, because in a thread, uh, so you get your first tapered um, tap, and you stick it in the tap holder. This is a tap holder, by the way. You screw it up tight. Now, what I have found over the years is WD-40, especially with aluminium, is the best cutting and cooling and <laughs> um, should we say assistant agent to cut a thread or even mill uh, if you don't have a flood coolant system. Uh, so what I do is just put a little bit into the hole. You can actually put some on the on the actual tap itself. Now, what you have to do is catch hold of the tap um, wrench with both hands, like this, and square it up as much as you can, like this. And try and get into the hole, look down, straight down at it, try and get it into the hole very slowly and as square as you can. You need to push down very slightly, not too much. And what I do in this sort of case in aluminium is take it about one and a half to two turns and then back half a turn. Now what that's doing, you see, uh, what can we have to represent? Okay, we use the end of this. Not really a good example. What can I use? We get a big tap so you can see what what's uh, what's going on here. So when you put in this into the hole, okay. Each one of these threads, right, is gouging a slot. Okay, a tapered slot. Or should we say, not a tapered, it's um, um, a spiralled slot. Because that's what a thread is. And as this is cutting its way down into the aluminium, you have swarf, okay, that it's cutting out, that builds up in the middle of here, in this gap. Okay, and it's really got nowhere really to go. Uh, so what you're doing is when you when you turn a couple of turns when you're starting okay and then you turn it back you're snapping this off like that and it's dropping into the into the hole uh, into the remaining part of the hole in the bottom uh, because if you didn't okay and just kept going and going and going this would build up and build up in here and it would actually jam up on the thread and it's quite possible with a um, a small little um, tap like that, it'll snap it off, and uh, it'll snap it off like a carrot. So uh, that's why you you do a couple of turns like this. Okay, so a couple of turns. This one, two, three, four half turns, and one half turn back. So that's snapping off the swarf and it's dropping down the hole. So there we go. In actual fact, I'll fetch the camera in and you'll be able to see that yourself. Now hopefully you'll be able to see this. You can see the bits of swarf there. Okay, so here we go again. One half turn. Another half turn, another half turn, another half turn, and then turn it back. And you might see some of the swarf coming off, because some of it does get pushed up this direction. See the swarf? Let me get a bit of air. And we'll do that again. You can actually see a piece of swarf there that snapped off. So here we go, we're cutting the thread again. Getting near the bottom of the hole, I think. That's it. Mm. 
There we go. And back. Yeah, all the, all the bits are falling in the bottom now. You can actually feel. Right, okay, that's as far as the hole goes down. So let's pull him out. And you'll see some of the swarf coming up with it and how it collects. But there is a, quite a bit that is dropped down in inside. Okay, you see how it's collecting? See how it's collecting there? Okay, so if you didn't turn it backwards and allowed it to snap off, that would really bung the blooming thing up. Bung the, all the, the, this uh, tap up inside here. It'd lock it all up. Now we'll blow it out. Um, so this is the second tap going in now. So put it in the tap holder. Put a bit of lubricant there in the hole. You mustn't force it with the tips of your fingers. You just need to do this. Just feel it in very quietly. You see, it's good thread. It's just it'll very freely. Uh, now it's starting to bind as it starts to cut thread gradually. Back. One, two, back. I think that's about it. That's it. You can see it's been cutting the thread in the bottom there. Okay. That's absolutely fine. That's as far as we need to go in. Because there's um, this 12 millimeter of plate that's gonna go on here, so that's just about right. So that's how to cut a thread in a blind hole in aluminium. Okay, I've just shown you how to um, tap a thread in a piece of aluminium um, by hand. Well, I'm just going to show you another method now. Um, I don't know whether you ever noticed that um, on larger size taps, this is a, a 10 mil, uh, 1.5 millimeter thread pitch. Um, there is a little dimple or a little um, indentation at the center of the top of the shaft. Well, I'm just going to demonstrate what that is. Now, this is a very accurate way of um, should we say making a tap or making a this is a very accurate way of making a thread uh, this again is a blind hole so you you notice the swarf turn back so what this is doing is you put your, 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 your drill press is holding the tap up square and actually applying a bit of downward pressure as well. It's a very simple, easy way of making a thread. I'll just zoom you in here so you can actually see the the swarf coming off there. Okay, I think you can see that better now. So you can actually now detect the cutter cutting and the
the, the swarf that uh, is coming off, it's curling off here. Most of this is falling back down in the hole. You only need to do this, uh, um, actually that's probably enough now. I can probably do the rest by hand now, as normal. But that's ensuring you get a square thread. Okay, so that was a, a taper tap. So now I'm going to put the second tap in. Okay, so this is a, a bottom tap. So this will cut the, the, the thread further on down in. Camera's picking that up. A perfectly square, perfect hole. And of course, this is our um, block of aluminium that is going to hold our, our Z axis. So, uh, anyway, I think what I'll do is uh, I've got quite a bit of material about cutting threads. There's a lot of people that's interested in that sort of thing. So, I'll probably put a very, very short. Um, video together about cutting threads so this will be that video so um, please um, subscribe to my channel press like and uh, I hope you join me again bye for now